back with Sarah and Matt Miletus. And I love your story, and I love your restaurant. The Brasserie Montmartre is one of Portland's, I think, best, oldest restaurants. And you recently bought it and decided that you would refurbish, well, re-renovate re it, really, back to its original grandeur. Yep. And you did so in a short seven months, mm -hmm. and you did so in time for your own wedding reception. So tell me how this worked. Fascinated. Well, we did plan to open a couple months before we actually opened, so it wasn't supposed to be as close to the wedding as it ended up being. But we did open November 2nd, and our wedding was December 5th. Wow. So. I mean, planning a wedding is, you know, it's hard enough, it's stressful enough <laughs> as it is. So, Matt, how, how did you deal with this whole... Well, luckily, I didn't have to do too much of the, the wedding planning. I was kind of just <laughs> along for the ride and, and helped where I could. But uh, And probably a shoulder to cry on from time to time. Yes, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so tell me, the, how did that process work? So that's a pretty large job to tackle. What, mm -hmm. what was sort of, the, you know, your vision and how you got there? Well, the brasserie, I mean, just was a great uh, brand in its, and by itself. And we kind of came in, we wanted to, to maintain as much of the original character of the building and the restaurant as possible. Uh, we came in and the building was essentially gutted and Sarah's got a great eye for design and detail so she you know came up with kind of incorporating some of the old uh, you know design features and while well, bringing it up to date for what it needed to be today so it, it was great and as we were planning our wedding and designing the restaurant we kind of kept in mind some of the things that uh, would incorporate both so it worked out well right and well and I know that you kept the the famous black and white checkered flooring mm -hmm. yep. and you brought back a lot of the original chandeliers that had been there forever yeah. but you refurbished them and put in new crystals mm -hmm. which I'm sure was no small task mm -hmm. so um, what else did you do though in, in well, the, to project, the interior it was kind of an organic process for us because the building just suited us it was our taste and the history of it We're you know we're very into history and, and refurbishing things and so um, we just kind of went with what the building spoke of Good. and we wanted to restore it to appeal you know to the people that used to come in that you know during the construction process we had probably 200 people come in over a week peeking their heads in seeing when we were opening and the excitement was already building Great. you know when it was still completely gutted so you really just um, you kept it how it was but it's just it's just it's better updated. Great. Yep. updated and so the service so you've got dining you have your brunch your lunch mm -hmm. Dinner, happy hour. Happy happy hour. hour. Tell us about the yep. happy hour, the hours. Yeah. Happy hour is from 3 to 6, and then it's also from 10 to close. Great. Mm -hmm. then you also have live music every night, yep. which is Seven nights. great. Mm -hmm. um, so what kind of musicians? And We're doing Latin jazz, straight, straight ahead jazz, uh, blues, and then some uh, new kind of mixes. We had an R&B group in that yeah. was kind of a bluesy R&B group. And mm -hmm. um, we, want to, we want to appeal to, to all ranges, and it is all hours, um, all ages, all hours. Right. And Fine. so you can come in with your five-year-old, and it's nice and noisy in there when it gets later. So, um, well, it always has such a nice ambiance. And then I also wanted to just mention that if you know if people are interested in having their own wedding reception yeah. there, that you also offer some on-site event planning. Mm -hmm. What else do you offer for those that are interested in maybe having their own reception at uh, the brasserie? We mm -hmm. have a large banquet area upstairs that uh, seated can fit up to 130 people, and then standing, it's you know a capacity, and we we can. We've got an on-site pastry chef who can do really anything. We've got... Uh, she did our wedding cake. Yeah, she did our That's wedding right. cake. It's beautiful. And um, just uh, the, we've got an event staff that can help you kind of... We have a floral artist, and so it's kind of an all-inclusive, and that's what we wanted to do is um, just going through the process ourselves to go somewhere that had a beautiful ambiance and setting that you don't really have to put a whole lot of, a lot of money into decorating. And then to have all of the people that can help put your wedding on at your disposal there is just a huge relief for a lot of brides. Absolutely. I think just keeping it simple for the bride mm -hmm. and knowing that the reception will sort of run flawlessly mm -hmm. and smoothly, um, that's really a nice benefit. Your wedding is actually going to be featured on Portland's Wedding Style this Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. nope. You're smiling, Matt. Does that mean you're... <laughs> Oh, it was, a, it was a fun night, and I, I, it's it kind of when we were living night. through it, you didn't get to see everything, so it'll be nice to actually see it. You get to relive it on Saturday. We haven't even seen any of the footage yet, so oh, we're that's... really excited to watch on Saturday. <laughs> well, that'll be great. So everybody, make sure that you check out um, Portland Wedding Style at COIN, Local 6, this Saturday morning at 9 a.m. And my thanks to Sarah and Matt Melitas, and I will be into the brasserie soon to check out the new changes that you've made. Perfect. Thanks so much. Cool. 9 a.m. Did I say 9 p.m.? 9 a.m. <laughs>